We found this large fallen tree, so we started to strip off its bark, which was surprisingly easy, so we decided to tear all of it off in case we decide to use the rest of it for a future project. We cut off the first three and a half meters of the log and hauled it back to the trail to start planing the surface down. We decided to square off the end of the log so that it could fit securely into the top of the post that we cut from the remaining part of the tree. We chiseled out a notch into the post matching the log so that it stayed in place. We wanted to ensure this feature was really sturdy, so we drilled a hole into the log so that we could drive a stake made out of a dead tree into the ground to keep it in place. Rather than attaching the log to the post with nails or screws, we drilled another hole on the other side of the log passing down into the post so that we could hammer in another dowel locking it in place. If you have ever ridden a wooden feature when it is wet, or if you've seen our previous video, you know that it gets really slippery and it can be a little dangerous. So to prevent any slips, we decided to saw some grooves into the log so that we could get some more traction. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It would help us out a lot.